Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at automatic caption translation in Adobe Premiere Pro. We've had captions, subtitles inside Premiere Pro for a while now. They're constantly being updated and added more features. It's really great. The newest update is automatic translation. Your first question is, whose translation? It's either Microsoft's or Google's. I think Microsoft, it, and you can see which one it is. So I've already added captions to this video and we're gonna translate them pretty easy. Let's have a look. So if you haven't worked with uh, captions, you can create a transcript if you load in video and, and there's a button here in transcript. By the way, I'm in the text-based editing workspace. Um, I've already created the captions. Here they are, the you can see. The are not inherent properties of objects, but rather the way our brains interpret the and there's this button here, translate your captions. If this window gets too small, that disappears and gets put in the three dot menu. But if you've got it open far enough, we click on it. So it's already telling me that the English was uh, what we have auto detected. There's a target language we get to choose. And these are the languages that are available today. And I'm going to choose Spanish. And the format, I'm going to choose 708. I could choose the subtitles. So just a regular SRT is going to work. Any of those, the formats are going to work. The reason I'm choosing 708 is it's the only way to export out multiple languages at one time. You can't do that with subtitles and you definitely can't do that with burning in. If I wanted to, I could show both subtitles. They'll be over top of each other, but I could move one if I wanted to visually burn in two languages, which would really be hard to, to see. So you can set the stream. I'm gonna set the English as one, this is two. If I have a style, I could choose it here. I don't have a style. There's some advanced um, choices in here that you would normally get with captions, how many characters, a minimum duration, single or double lines. And I'll click translate. And you see it's translating and it's done. So if I click on the eyeball over here, turn the English off and turn the Spanish on, let me just go to full screen. properties of objects, but rather the way our brains interpret the different wavelengths of light that are reflected off of them. A red apple is not truly red, but rather a reflection of red light. That so there we go, and in the bottom left, now that I'm in the Spanish, you can see originally translated by Microsoft Translator. And if you want, if you made the wrong choice, you can right click on either one of these and go to track settings and change it to subtitle. So I could do that. So if I wanted to show both of these at the same time, I could select one of the uh, tracks of captions, go to properties, go to align and transform and drag this up. And now you're seeing both of these at the same time. Properties of objects, but rather the way our brains interpret. Uh, but that's a little hard to see. If you want to export them out, as I said, export Mac caption. This is the only format that will support both of these. You can see C1 and C2, both will be exported out. And just to remind people that closed captions and subtitles are not the same thing. 
You won't see these subtitles in the video. They're closed captions. They're meant to be turned on and off with your remote control as you're watching this on a television, on a broadcast type uh, environment. They're not meant for web turning on and off. There might be some player platforms that support loading multiple captions and turning them off, but th this is in, uh, creating that sidecar second file that you would have to upload um, or in this case, send out for broadcast. But I could translate another language and another language and export all of these if I wanted. But now built-in translation, and you can correct any of that. This is just regular captions in Premiere Pro. Once you translate it, you have full control to change the style and correct any uh, uh, errors that, that happen in that uh, translation. So there you go. A quick auto translation for captions is going to be a lot easier for people to send it out. I don't speak Spanish, so I, I don't speak any second language. So I have no idea um, if these are accurate or not. That's up to you to decide. Hey, if you're new to Video Reveal and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to show you some of the cool new stuff in Adobe Premiere Pro.